in order to bring some humor to my cancer diagnosis and to create a target for all of our fears, I named my primary tumor Dave. Apologies to any good Daves in here. Even though I don't like Dave, I have to thank him daily. It is because of Dave that Team Kate was born. Woo! <laughs> my eyes have been opened to the amazing and incredible love and support that surrounds me every day. When you're going about your daily life, if you try and put yourself in the shoes of someone else, you know, that you see going down the street or that you work with and think about what they're dealing with and what kind of day they're having and try and react in sort of a, a more patient and understanding way, I think that would go a long way to how Katie felt and the message she wanted to leave us. Kate was someone who she could have done anything she wanted with her life. She was brilliant. The one thing she really wanted to do and was meant to do was just to help others. Hi everyone, my name is Katie Henmuth. I'm a daughter, sister, aunt, friend, nurse, shout out 12 West, <laughs> and as of June, a fiance. There were kind of two Katies. Before she got cancer, she was just... <sighs> It, it's almost hard to describe. She was Katie. She was a great friend. She was a great person. And then after she got cancer, I mean, it was all of that and more. I don't know if it's fair to say she embraced it, but she certainly attacked it. She attacked it with her, with the humor and the blog she started and her reliance on friends. The cancer attacked her and she just charged right back at it. She was just so strong and so positive and she just had such a will to live everybody who met her loved her we learned through kate what cycle for survival was you know what the point was when we came to the event it was just so full of energy and hope and she really just thrived on that cycle for survival is, is a is a is an event about hope it's about researching and funding rare cancers that are otherwise hard to research and fund we always felt like we were a day away from her miracle. And I, I still think it's out there um, any day now. She said in her last days, I want you guys to do this every year. So I sort of feel like here we are. Um, it's going to be every year from here. We made a promise to her that we would continue to ride every year. And uh, obviously this is our first year that we're doing it since she passed. Katie showed me, she showed everybody what, you know, what fighting really is. It made me realize, you know, the way she fought, how hard she fought, that anything that I'd come across in my life would never compare. It's one of the biggest lessons that Kate taught me. It's just, you know, never giving up. Being here, riding with everyone, that's just one sort of step of inspiration. But the money raised, to know that that's going towards a treatment that hopefully one day someone in Katie's situation will have an answer. That's what she would want the most. My greatest hope is that all these efforts by all these people will one day find one more cure. Your love is the love that heals us every day. Your love is the love that honors us. And your love that you will show by cycling for our survival is what will help us find a cure. So use your love for those that you are supporting and honoring and ride your freaking hearts out today and have some fun while you're at it. Thank you and F you Dave. <laughs>